You were talking about the general election. There's still a question of primary. There is a real primary going on out there. Democratic presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is pushing President Biden to debate him. Latest polling, Kennedy's drawing 15% of support from Democratic voters. Here's what Kennedy had to say about a Democratic debate. I would love to participate in a debate if President Biden participates in a debate. I think it's wrong. You know, I think it's wrong that he's not going to participate. And the reason I think it's wrong, of course, he has that power to not do it. And it's a strategic choice for him. And I think if I were in his shoes, I wouldn't want to debate on either. But I think it's bad for America at this point. Dot, 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 Scott, and there's not going to be a deal. Oh, gosh. You know, we keep having this story. The media is obsessed with RFK because otherwise it's a boring Democratic story in regard to the presidential nomination. I, 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 Biden doesn't have to debate him because he doesn't have to debate him. He's got 15 percent. He's not going to get the nomination. Robert F. Kennedy is, is, comes from a great family name, but that's it. And so whatever debate or argument or issue that the media wants to put these two Democratic icons or iconic kind of family and, and, and politics, it's just not there. That dog won't hunt, as my grandfather used to say. Well, President Biden's um, approval ratings are still very low, though, nationally, and his disapproval ratings are high. And so it is interesting that you have somebody come on the stage like RFK, and he's actually, you know, 15 percent. It's not a high number, but man, it's hey, look, he's higher than he's higher. He's higher than Nikki Haley. He's higher than Tim Scott. He's higher than Mike Pence. He's higher than a lot of people that we we talk about every day. Oh. How much of this, though? is a splintering in parties, Chris. Yeah. You've got an alt populist wing of the Republican primary yeah. of the Republican primary elected. Is Robert F. Kennedy, you know, look, uh, curbing mining, logging, oil drilling, and suburban sprawl, wants to bring home, troops home and unwind the empire. End proxy wars, bombing campaigns, covert operations, uh, believes the agreement Russia has given to Ukraine is a good deal and the Ukraine war is a US war against Russia. You sort of modify those a little bit. That's Josh Hawley. The uh, the poll I want to see <laughs> is not how Robert F. Kennedy Jr. polls with Democratic primary voters. How would he poll with Republicans? Uh, he is his recent appearance on the Joe Rogan's podcast, uh, consumed by millions of people. Uh, there are a lot of MAGA kind of voters, nationalist populists, who are really digging what. Kennedy is putting down because of his discussion about vaccine, because of his discussion mm -hmm. of the border, because of his opposition to the support for Ukraine. All of those things line up with a lot of the same kind of voters who back Donald Trump. Now, the two things that I find interesting now, two hypotheticals. Number one, what if he changed and ran as a Republican? That would be really interesting to see how he would score inside that the Republican would be great. Party. I'm, well, <laughs> I, would be I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be too quick with that because okay. the other thing is... What about an independent run from him? He's not going to win the Democratic nomination. His numbers are, right now, it would need, it would need a dramatic change. Uh, he could embarrass uh, Biden if New Hampshire and Iowa hold uh, their contests and the Biden has said that he won't participate in, so he could win those. He, Biden won't be on the ballot. Something could happen. But the chance for an independent run, the possibility that this guy would run as an independent and siphon off some votes from the Democrats, probably a lot of votes from Republicans, this could get weird. This could get really interesting. I don't think it's going to happen. It's, it's a great concept to think through politically, but the reality is I don't think he has the money or the wherewithal or the following even Elon he Musk can grow. Just, just, you know, no, he, to, he, he hosted just a super He's back. not endorsing him, no. though. <laughs> Chris talks about the RFK Jr. appeal on the Republican side. There is this sort of horseshoe effect, right, where there's an alt -po a populist and an alt-populist at the bottom of both parties, if you will, that kind of share similar views. It's like the Bernie Sanders Trump voter. Well, I think that what he's tapping into with the Rogan crowd is this. He's going after these, well, what if these questions you're not supposed to ask, going against the grain, challenging the establishment, challenging what is generally accepted. And he's taking advantage of this sentiment that you can't trust institutions, this decline in trust yeah. in institutions. So I'm not even sure it's necessarily directly that his arguments themselves are resonating with everybody. It's just this sense of it's us against them. It's the, it's the people versus these institutions. And that's what's attractive. Yep. Didn't, didn't we learn in 2016 it's really dangerous to underestimate and dismiss people? Well, look, the the possibility of uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. winning the Democratic nomination is not zero, but it's low. Right. right? It's but the possibility of him damaging 
Joe Biden. The is possibility of him damaging Donald Trump. This is this is this is what I'm. I think you're onto something, and I think it's real. There are the Bernie Bros in the Democratic Party, but a lot of those folks are Trump voters too, right? There are there are those people. The horseshoe is real, uh, and those nationalist populists, the people who are progressives and the people who are nationalists, that populist connection yeah. is real, and. What I see in RFK Jr. is somebody who is speaking to the disaffected, the very voters that Rebecca's talking about, these disaffected, angry, marginalized feeling mm -hmm. voters, the same people who made Donald Trump president. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.